Wang Jianlin is fast becoming the international face of Chinese business. Whether speaking to a packed house at a Hong Kong business forum, rubbing shoulders with the Hollywood elite, or joining the top table at a storied European football club, China's richest man is making waves, joining Alibaba's Jack Ma as one of the country's best-known business leaders. Wang's Dalian Wanda Group is China's biggest private property concern, but it's been expanding and diversifying its empire internationally. I sat down with Wang in Hong Kong recently to talk about where the company goes from here. Mm, Currently, our real estate's business is not growing much. We're developing two major sectors. First is cultural industries, including entertainment, sports and tourism. The second is financial industries, including corporate financing, new online loan, online offline integration, releasing our own Fei Fan card, the first multifunction financial card, etc. This is our two major sectors for development. You said, Mr. Wong, very clearly that you would be making five acquisitions, substantial acquisitions, in 2016. Three of those will be offshore, overseas. What areas are you looking, what type of business are you looking at buying? All are sports and entertainment businesses. They will be substantial, at least three to five billion dollars. Do you have targets already identified? We would not release that, but there is some progress that we expect to complete within this year. Why sport? There is basically no sports business in China at this point, and the Chinese government has just released a policy to develop the sports business, to grow it into a 5 trillion RMB business within 10 years. That is close to 800 billion US dollars and slightly larger than the current size of the sports business in the US now. There are a lot of preferential policies for sports related businesses, such as priority to obtain land, IPO and bank loans, etc. We think this is the golden decade for sports business in China. We go around the world to acquire good sports companies and competitions that can be brought to China and link up with China's demand. Is your diversification program linked to the fact that China's economy is slowing down and you need to spread your businesses further, not rely on, on just property? It's about not putting all the eggs in one basket. It's because we think that if we want to become a first-class company in the world, it has to be a multinational enterprise, not just staying in one country. I could reach 100 billion US dollar turnover even if I only conduct business in China, but I think that that would not help with our company's branding and transition. Therefore, we do not have any budget caps on our investments in the overseas markets. Whenever we come across a good company, we can always consider to acquire it.